Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember, energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this new person feel about Virgo? Now, I do love reading, so love can obviously be romantic. Love can be um, a new friend, so take it as it resonates. Use your intuition, your discernment on who this reading could be about. We got the Emperor card. You could be dealing with an Aries. Someone here feels like if they're going to come towards you, Virgo, they need to do so correctly. Like They have to take the initiative um, because they see you as someone who's very much a leader. You're the one who takes care of others. Maybe a lot of people turn to you um, for advice or just as like someone to talk to or a shoulder to lean on. So this person feels like if they are going to come towards you, they need to come with that same sort of energy. Um, they don't want to come to, this is so interesting. They don't want to come to you as someone who you feel you would have to take care of as well, or you would have to sort of help. Like they're like, no, no, no. Like I can carry the same kind of energy here, Virgo. Interesting. They're trying to like prove it to you. Like, look, like I can, yeah, I can be the leader. I can be in, in I wanted to say in control, but more about initiative. Um, and there's, they definitely want to offer you something here. So it could be a gift. Um, doesn't have to be, but it's just sort of like a beginning, like their feelings are like, I, I see that this could put, potentially grow into something. Let's see where this can go. Tell me more about how this person feels about Virgo. Eight of Pentacles. It's like this person would be willing to put in the work to make this work. You know, if your schedules are different, if, um, you know, they have to travel, if, um, you know, they also feel like they want to put the work in to like get to know what you like. Like this person sees you as someone, again, you're very much a giver. Like you, once you say you're going to do something, you put your all into it. This person admires that about you. And they also feel like they have to bring that same kind of energy here. Um, so they're willing to do what it takes, whatever it takes to kind of see if this can grow into something. Tell me more. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Like they're like, you know what? This might take some time for us to build here, but they want to show you that they're not going anywhere. I'm here for the long haul. I'm willing to put the work in. Um, you know, slow and steady wins the race kind of energy. They want to get to know you, build something solid here. They want to show you they can be dependable, reliable. Um, maybe this person understands like it'll take some time to earn your trust. That's okay. They're willing to do that. They want to step up here. Um, so we have lots of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, also some Aries there. So yeah, it looks like someone's just really interested. They're like, I, I could see myself really putting in the effort to, to make this grow into something here. Um, anything else about that ace? Four of pentacles, lots of pentacles here. Um, this person very much sees you as someone who's very grounded. It's like, you better show me. I don't want to hear it. I want you to show me that you're, you're going to do whatever you say you're going to do. Right? Um, this person is also the type of person, Virgo, that like once you're in their circle, like they'll also go above and beyond for you. Like they hold you close to their heart. So they're just, they're, they're trying to show you with their actions more than anything. That's what they are hoping to do. Um, they feel like they can prove themselves to you. Um, so let's see their, their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. The Six of Swords. 
The Knight of Cups. Felt like another one flipped, but I guess it didn't. Judgment. Someone definitely wants this chance here with you. Now, with this Six of Swords, this is so interesting. It's almost like they're waiting for something else. Tell me what that Six of Swords waiting for something else to um to get away from something or for something to figure itself out. Ten of Pentacles. It could be a job situation here that this person is trying to like wrap up some maybe they're switching jobs or something like that. This person has also thought a lot about what they want for their future and like they see again stability not just like becoming really grounded in each other understanding like any good friendship or relationship has that solid you know at the end of the day I still have your back energy and that's what this person knows that they want they're they've been trying to manifest this they had to sort of I'm not fully getting what that was it's almost like they had to move away from something else first to to be able to allow you into their energy. Now, when I say that, I mean, if you're if you're trying to manifest something, so say this person is trying to manifest a long-term connection, which it looks like they have been, um, if they're holding on to something else that energetically is taking up so much of their time, their energy, their effort, it's like they had to let go of something else here first. Again, could have just been like a job. Maybe they had to move away from their family. Maybe they had to get away from a certain group of friends or something like that. They've thought a lot about it though. Um, I'm not getting exactly what that was. I mean, if if you wanted to know more about that Virgo um, and understand exactly what that was, you can check out the link down below, connect with a love psychic. They could um, potentially answer those questions. Your first five minutes with them will be completely free, but I'm, I'm not picking up exactly what it is. Could have been something long-term here though, maybe a family business, something like that. But what this person sees is an opportunity here with you and they're coming towards you. They want this chance. So... If this is romantic, I see this person being very romantic, um, maybe planning a nice date, taking you out to dinner, opening up and telling you how much, you know, you really mean to them. Even if it's just a friend, I feel like this person just does like a really nice gesture that leaves you feeling like, wow, like that was just really nice of them. Like they didn't have to do that, but they did that, right? Whether it was help you with something or again, like take you somewhere nice. Um, this person, they have a big heart, they do, they care a lot. Um, so they've been trying to find that that connection, that that person that they can put their all their energy into here. They're hoping for something, you know, solid, something long-term. Um, so they're trying to like feel if, if you are as well. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups, the star. This person's very, very hopeful. We have Aquarius energy there. We also have Gemini and Virgo, lots of Virgo here. Um, they kind of feel led to you here. Whoa, yeah. They kind of feel led to you. They just feel like as soon as they meet you, they feel right away, this is a solid person. Virgo's a solid person. I can really see myself, you know, being friends with them or having a relationship with them because you, you come across as very, very dependable yourself, very loyal, um, very, you're very grounded in your values. Um, Virgo. So say if you really value, you know, communication, if there's a situation where communication can feel awkward, like it's like, oh, I have to like confront that person or have that awkward conversation with my boss or my friend or my family member, you don't shy away from that. You're like, okay, like I value communication. So I'm going to uphold communication. This person sees you as someone who has a lot of strong values and you stand by them. Um, they feel kind of led to you here is what I'm getting. It's, it's like very sweet. It's very endearing. They're really hopeful that this can turn into something more like a, like blossom into a great friendship or a great relationship, whatever this might be. Anything else about the Knight of Cups? Page of Swords. They might be asking you a lot of questions. Um, not going to lie. They could even be sort of doing a little bit of research on you here. Maybe asking mutual friends or people about you. I don't know. I, I feel like social media is a, is a platform where people kind of, you know, turn into a PI a little bit sometimes when they're first curious about someone. Um, that's what they could be doing, right? Just kind of, you might notice they like like a picture from a long time ago or something like that. Yeah, they're, they're trying to understand more about who you are here. Um, Cause they feel this, like with that star energy, they feel sort of like this pull towards you a little bit here. Like they want this chance. They're like, I feel like this is my chance to have that really good friend or to have that really good connection here. 
Um, so it looks good. Their feelings and their actions here look good. Um, Virgo, let's see their intentions though. What is this person's true intentions towards Virgo? We have the Two of Wands, we have the Five of Cups. They're trying to leave their past in their past. Again, I don't know what it was that they like moved away from. Back into calmer waters, like energetically letting go of something else, moving away from something else so they can have their manifestation come in, which is you. It's like they're trying to leave their past in their past here. They're just trying to look forward to the future. So what do they see in the future with Virgo? The Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles again. Like at the very least, this person sees you being a great friend. They're very curious about you. They they can see the two of you really getting along. Um, running, I just heard. I don't know if you are a runner or this person is. Maybe you start to go running together um, or do some sort of other physical activity together. This person, I mean, for their feelings to be the Ace of Pentacles and then their intentions, it's like I love when that happens, when things just line up here. You know this person's being genuine right? I feel like this person does truly want to get to know you. I love this Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, because it, it just represents like, look, it's a brand new seed. You know, it can grow into anything that we want as long as we nurture it and we keep coming back to it. If you think about planting a seed yourself, you have to do the same thing. Make sure the soil is good, the sunlight, um, the water, all that. So this person feels like they can do that with you. They can like, you know, start to build something really solid. Um, again, at the very least, a friendship here. Anything else for their intentions? The world. They're just sort of ready to close out some other cycle and begin new. Begin new in general, but you sort of make them feel like, yeah, this is a sure telltale sign that like, I'm ready for this new chapter. They're leaving something else in the past here. I'll try and, what is that five of cups? Let's see if, okay. It might've been like a higher level of commitment. Like I said, with that 10 of pentacles there, could have been a marriage they're leaving in the past, um, maybe some sort of tradition, family tradition, or like, you know, some sort of like unwritten rule they were supposed to follow or rules they were supposed to follow, like a way of life. And they're like, no, like, I'm not trying to do that anymore. It just doesn't serve them anymore. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it strongly feels like it's either like a business or a family thing, um, something to do with like money or like assets here, right? Um, they're, they're, I'm not going to lie. I feel like at times they do sort of think about the past and they're like, mm, it can kind of like bring their mood down a little bit, but they're more so looking towards the future here. Let's close out that cycle. It is what it is. Whatever happened, happened here. I'm starting, trying to start fresh and Virgo, they see you as a huge part of that. Um, yeah. So again, if you're really curious about what this past could be, um, you could connect with that love psychic, see if they can pick up on exactly what those details I'm not getting um, specifics here. Uh, maybe it's not important to you, so that won't be relevant. But let's see the potential outcome. Cool. Wow, we got the emperor again. And I love when this happens because, again, it's lining up. This person's, you know, feelings towards you, um, their intentions, now the potential. It's like it's all the same. This person isn't switching up on you suddenly. It's not like they try in the beginning and then later on they don't. Um, so again, they're coming towards you with like pretty strong energy. Like, look, like, let me prove it to you. This is so interesting. This King of Swords. Tell me about that. I feel like you're, you're sort of looking at this person like, yeah, like, what are you doing? Like, what, what's the catch here? Like, if you look at this King of Swords looking over at these Emperor, it's almost like the, the King of Swords is like, who is this person? What are they doing here? What do they want? Right? Like, why do they seem so put together and like calm, cool, collected? Like, what, what do they want from me? And so you might be sort of looking for like patterns of um, inconsistency. Are they a player? Are they, you know, gonna hurt me maybe the same way someone else has hurt me in the past, whether it is a friend or romantic? You're sort of like really analyzing this person, right? Like, are they who, are they really who they say they are? Tell me more about the Emperor. A bit more Aries energy. You wouldn't know it, but this person actually overthinks quite a bit. They look really calm and cool on the outside, but they actually, um, analysis paralysis sometimes, like they sort of like, like almost overthink situations, the three of pentacles, but they're, you know, they see you as someone who could almost like not help them through it. Cause it's their own sort of me like their own mental sort of, um, clarity that they need to seek on their own, but they see you as someone who they could like depend on 
talk to about this, open up to about it, like, or even sort of like just spend time with, and then they feel better and they don't feel so up in their head. They just feel more grounded in the situation. Um, tell me more about the potential outcome. Now, I gotta be honest with you, Virgo. I'm not seeing, I was just about to say, I'm not seeing like 10 of cups, nine of cups, even ace of cups here. So while um, this could be potentially a romantic partner, and we did just get the knight of cups, which is again, another synchronicity here. Like I'm loving that. It's their actions, but it's also now the potential outcome. This person is consistent, Virgo. Like that's what you should know is that they're very consistent. Like what they say they're gonna do, they're gonna continue to do. It's not someone who's gonna switch up on you. So again, maybe this is a romantic gesture. Maybe it's just more like, hey, I really appreciate you as a friend. Um, but either way, it's still happening. I don't see them like falling head over heels in love with you like right, right away if this is romantic. It's not to say it'll never happen, but because this person is more like a slow and steady energy, it's again, it's like about building this solid foundation first, um, being sure, being yeah, being um, confident that to move forward, right? And they are confident with you. They like you. They like spending time with you. I mean, who wouldn't like you, Virgo, right? Um, I know I always say, like, say these affirmations in the comments, and, and usually they're from a card or something. Um, but I just heard Spirit said, write it in the comments. Like, write it in the comments, Virgo. Like, who wouldn't like me? right? And it's not because you're cocky. It's because you're confident in who you are. You know you have a lot to offer and this person sees you have a lot to offer too. How will Virgo know who this is? Whoa. The Ten of Swords, the Star, Aquarius Energy again, and the Six of Wands. I don't know what this is. There could have been some sort of ending or something that they, like I said, that they went through, that they moved away from, that could have been very public even. And when I say public, maybe just like you know, they come from a huge family and say it was a divorce, like everyone knew they got divorced or, um, you know, if they were with someone else and it was a breakup and then, you know, all of social media now knows they broke up or something like that. This person's healing from it though. Again, they're not trying to dwell on their past. They're really hopeful for the future and you're a huge part of that, Virgo. Um, they feel really good about that. Any advice for Virgo? There's that Ace of Cups. Remember I said, I'm like, it's not really here. You have to open up your heart here. And wow, we have the Empress Oof, and the Sun. Don't self-sabotage this, Virgo. There might be fear on your part. Look, three of swords, nine of swords, two of swords. There might be fear on your part. Is this person a heartbreaker, right? I feel like you're this king of swords energy. Is this person who they say they're? I'm just going to sit back and observe. Right? And of course, if you've been hurt before, many of us have, it makes sense where you're like, you know, I'm not going to get hurt like that again. Um, but you just got the Empress for your advice. Be open to receive. And for the Emperor and the Empress to come out in a reading tells me this is, you know, a very strong connection. All these synchronicities, the Emperor coming out twice, the Knight of Cups coming out twice. Um, what else was it? The Page of Pentacles. Was it the Page of Pentacles? uh the star coming out twice the ace of pentacles coming out twice right sorry there's lots of synchronicities here so you have to open yourself up the empress is open to receiving maybe you're used to being in your emperor energy the go-getter the initiator the one who has to reach out the one who says they're interested etc etc this person's coming towards you so you have to be open to receive the empress doesn't chase she attracts right? And I'm saying she, emperor, doesn't, it doesn't mean he, she, it's not about um, gender, it's about the energy. So you have to be open to receive here. This is a divine match, Virgo. This is really strong. This is someone where even if it is just a friend, there's just like some sort of unspoken, very strong bond between the two of you. And this person feels it um, as well. So you have to open your heart chakra um, I'll post a heart chakra meditation down below. If I forget, someone please comment that I forgot because I usually forget. Um, but, you know, and you see all these sort of like stars on the Ace of Cups and these sort of like what could be stars on the Emperor. It's like the stars are lining up. The two of you are just meant to come together. Like, you, again, even if this is just a friend, it's like this will be like a really solid person in your life right? You balance each other out here. You understand each other. You're like a power couple. I just heard dynamic duo. So it could be that too. But yeah, this is really beautiful energy. So we have Taurus Libra energy there too. Um, let's see if we get anything from the tea leaf for you, Virgo. Whoa. 
purse. Pay attention to your finances. Okay. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So pay attention to your finances and a path with money is waiting for you to find it. So that could just be like a side message here. Chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. Again, I feel like you just kind of meet this person. And I'm surprised the tower wasn't here, but I'm also not surprised the tower wasn't here because this almost feels like you knew, you can feel this coming and this person can feel this coming. You two, again, you're meant to come together here. Um, yeah, well, family wishes come true. Wow. So Virgo, this is like wonderful. Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. You literally, and look at all these pentacles coming through too. Right? So there's something about money here. There's something about prosperity, abundance coming through for you. This person is like a huge part of that. Tell me about like financial gain and money path. Like what is that? Ooh, expect the unexpected, Virgo. Expect the unexpected because there's like your perspective on everything is going to change. Judgment. It might be this person. Maybe this person has some sort of business idea for you or um, wants you to join in on something. Perhaps maybe this is just like a very generous individual who's like, I just want to help you, Virgo. You just give me that kind of good energy. Um, yeah, it's give it a chance is what I'm getting. It's going to come out of nowhere. It's going to shock you. Look at this past love in the past, past lover. Now I see comments about this all the time. When I'm watching a new love reading, like, okay, can it be my past? Can it be someone coming with new energy? Yeah, of course. Use your intuition. Use your discernment about who this could be, right? This could be someone that you have um, a history with who is coming with brand new energy. And if you know that and you feel that, you're like, this reading is them. It has to be them. Um, then use your intuition, right? I, I said this in the Taurus reading too, but I split the readings in the last, I think, six months or so from past to new, just to hope to give some more clarity. Um, because when I was doing the readings before, like say like all the aces would come out, I'd be like, yeah, this feels like a new person. And then the six of cups would come out. And I'd be like, oh, maybe it's the past. And I felt like it was giving like mixed messages. But at the end of the day, you know, right? You could be like, no, this is that person that or that friend or whoever that maybe I haven't spoken to them in a while or like we do have some history, but this seems like them coming with new energy. I mean, it could also just pertain to whatever they're walking away from here with that Ten of Swords, the Six of Swords, right? Maybe it's a past love that they're removing themselves from. So again, take it as it resonates. This is a general reading. Um, we got home, property, real estate, residence. And we also got courting man, uniform, professional male. And true gem, valuable quality jewelry. Yeah, there's, this is genuine. This feels really genuine. It feels solid. Look at, you're ready, Virgo. You're ready. I mean, you can write that in the comments. I am open and ready to receive. I am open and ready to receive abundance, um, a new person, whatever it is, wealth. Um, communicate clearly, right? I, I, as soon as I pick this up, it's not only to this person, but it's also to the universe about exactly what you want. Think about the universe like going to a restaurant and ordering. If you place your order and then the kitchen goes to start to make it and you say, oh, no, 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 wait a second. Like, that's actually not what I want. I want something different. They have to start all over again, right? So when you say to the universe, you know, I want someone who is really ambitious and um, very kind and very loyal. Okay, great. You put your order in and then you're like, oh, no, no, wait. I want someone who's ambitious and kind and loyal, but like they also have to be like really good looking or they also have to like really be into travel. It's like, okay great, put that order in. Oh, no, no, wait. Like, and you see, you keep starting it over. So communicate clearly, not only to this person, but to the universe too. And don't be afraid to ask for exactly what you want. <laughs> Look at this, friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. I get like strong friendship energy from this reading. And again, doesn't have to say that it won't blossom into love, right? If you can tell already who this might be, that it is just a new friend. Um, but it is solid. I don't think this friendship card has ever come out in a reading, Virgo. I don't think that's ever happened. The relationship card has, like a lot of these cards have come out, but I don't think they, yeah, I don't think the friendship card has ever come out. So I think that's just like extra confirmation. Um, this could be a really solid friend in your life. Look at this, a new earth 
It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Virgo, do not give up and look at baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. But it is happening. Keep holding the vision, Virgo. Whatever that vision is, like I said, get very clear. Um, and it's going to happen because this person has manifested you too. Wow. Oh my gosh, Virgo. You got blessed. Number 22. Stop this. And happy, happy number 26. Virgo, this is like the best reading I've done in a while. Like this feels like a, the good stuff coming towards you reading. And really this is a new love reading. Like you should be very excited. Whoever this person is, going to be very genuine, very loyal, very solid, will make you feel like you can like sit back and relax. You don't have to do everything to make it work. Like allowing you to be in like your softer feminine energy. Wow. I don't think these two cards have ever come out together, come out together either, Virgo. Holy. Wow. Look at this. She's like, just such beautiful energy. I'm just like smiling ear to ear. Wow, Virgo, get very excited. Okay, 22. You are moving toward a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection. This union, blessed by the divine, will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. Wow. Beautiful. I love that so much. Something wonderful that is unexpected. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's go to 26. There are moments in a relationship when you just feel good about whom you're with and you know that your heart is wide open to befriend, to love, and to care for another without wanting anything in return. This is the kind of happy that you just want to share. The appearance of this card in a reading tells you that joy and contentment are here now, not somewhere else or off in the future. The grass is greenest right where you stand. Be grateful and delight in your relationship and if you're seeking one, be happy now. Happiness attracts more of itself, like bees to honey. Oh my gosh, Virgo. This just feels really good. Really, really good. Just like airy fairy energy here, like just feeling light, feeling good, feeling blessed. Look at all these little hearts floating around beneath, like love is in the air. Like there's at least, there's, and again, love doesn't always have to be romantic maybe at least not at first but this is beautiful Virgo I love this I'm so glad I did this reading <laughs> okay so oh. um these could be initials of you of this person maybe numbers you've been seeing birth dates significant dates uh zip codes postal codes license plates just take it as it resonates if something here doesn't resonate with you though it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading so we got p G, W, D, X, Y, Y again, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Virgo, so I really hope something resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.